Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? You know, a lot of people have been asking me, hey, what, what are your thoughts on Apple 4K TV so far? And uh, I'm going to save you the trouble. I'm going to tell you right now in this uh, minute, right out of the gate, right off the bat, that uh, Apple 4K TV, it's the best $200 that I have ever spent on a electronic device. And I'm going to tell you in those 10 minutes as to why. I believe that's the case. First of all, let's talk about what's so unique about the Apple 4K TV that no other device at the moment it's doing. Number one, no other device it's processing static metadata and dynamic metadata continuously, nonstop you have the option to do so here on the Apple 4K TV. You have the option to leave Dolby Vision on at all time if your TV supports it, or you can leave HDR on at all time if you choose to do so. Now, devices like Nvidia Shield and uh, Roku, they don't do that, okay? All right, they don't, they don't even support Dolby Vision. They only support HDR. Okay, so right there, this is the only device that it's giving you that ability. Because right now what you're looking at, this is being compressed by Dolby Vision, all right? What you're looking at right now, it's a Dolby Vision uh, compression, all right? And what's so cool, unique about it, I can watch any of my movies and they will be compressed in Dolby Vision. Okay, no matter what I'm using, they will be compressed in Dolby Vision. All right. Even if there are 1080p movies, they're still going to be compressed in Dolby Vision. But what's so great about this is the fact that even if you're watching your old movies, your old 1080p movies, they're still going to be upscaled to 4K. And on top of being upscaled to 4K, which is going to look fantastic, they are going to be compressed with Dolby Vision peak brightness and color. So that's a big bonus right there that you're getting with this device that you're not going to get it on any other device. And it's very important that people understand that. When they, when they go purchase this device, you're getting a true 4K machine. Not to mention that all of the movies that I have watched, like Transformers and Spider-Man, all of these movies, they are almost identical, honestly, to a 4K UHD Blu-ray quality. Almost. Maybe about 5% here and there. It fluctuates. But they really are, you know, truly identical to the 4K UHD Blu-ray. You really have to get close to a panel, to a TV, to see the difference. But if you're like sitting from afar, you won't be able to tell a difference. So that's the one cool feature uh, that you also get. And on top of that, the movies are like dirt cheap. You can get uh, 4K movies for like 10 bucks, 14 bucks. You can you can get Atomic Blonde for 14 bucks. Uh, not only are you getting on every 4K movie, you're getting Dolby Vision and HDR, but on top of that, you're getting a almost identical 4K UHD Blu-ray bitrate for less money, I mean, for, for cheaper price. Now, the one downside to this is obviously you got to have internet to stream. Uh, the biggest advantage of the uh, physical media disc is you don't need to have internet. You just need to have, uh, you know, electricity and boom, you're good to go. You can watch your movies anywhere. You could be in a basement watching your movies during a zombie apocalypse. If you have the generator, electricity, you know what I mean? But still, for a streaming device, we have to grade this device for what it is. It's a streaming device, okay? And that's how I'm grading it. I'm not comparing it to a 4K player because it's kind of stupid, all right? Of course, 4K player, physical media, it's better because it's a physical media. But if I have to grade this for a streaming device, I'm grading this as a streaming device. For a streaming device, this is the best streaming device you can get.
Now, I know that some of you guys are Android and you don't like the uh, Apple ecosystem. You know, I have my beef with Apple too, you know. I don't like their, you know, some of their uh, rules and procedures through iTunes. The, the, you know, the, there's, way, there's way too many breaks on the Apple and the uh, Apple iOS. You know, there's too many breaks in, in terms of what you can do, what you can watch, what type of format. You know, so there's all those breaks and issues that comes with it. But in terms of streaming, I would say uh, Apple 4K TV is definitely worth it. And yes, even your YouTube is going to be in uh, 4K Dolby Vision. So it's going to be compressed in, in 4K Dolby Vision or, or 4K HDR. Same thing with your games, like the Sky Force. It gets compressed to uh, Dolby Vision and HDR. Now, you don't have to. You know, you do have an option if you go to the settings over here. Okay, right now what you're looking at is Dolby Vision. Uh, this is uh, one of those uh, aerial shots that were taken. And it looks fantastic, you know. And this is running in Dolby Vision, native 4K. And it truly looks great. And obviously it was shot by a uh, drone, you know, overhead in the skies. But it looks fantastic, as you can see. So if you go to a settings over here, let me show you. If you go to a settings... You do have the option. You can go to video audio, and you can you can change this. You don't have to use 4K Dolby Vision. You can use 4K HDR, and you can keep it on HDR. If your TV only has HDR, you can switch it to HDR, or you can switch to 1080p Dolby Vision, 1080p HDR. So you have many other formats, many other different options you can choose. So they're giving you pretty much all of the options. I mean, you can really have. Whatever TV you have, this thing will use it. This thing supports pretty much everything. Look at all these different resolution formats. All right. Now, the one thing that uh, I wish they will implement is Dolby Atmos. But I heard in the future they're going to do that. They're going to implement Dolby Atmos. And why wouldn't they implement Dolby Atmos? Because they already have Dolby Vision partnership with uh, Dolby. So it's just a matter of time before they implement Dolby Atmos. Okay. So in closing, uh, I just want to point this out that... Uh, you know, Apple 4K TV, obviously, it's not for everyone. But if you are into Apple ecosystem and you have a 4K HDR Dolby Vision TV, then obviously, you know, you really, you really need to check this out. Uh, let me put it this way. If you have a 4K HDR Dolby Vision TV, you owe it to yourself to, uh, to grab Apple 4K TV. You're not going to regret it. Uh, you're going to experience that 4K HDR and Dolby Vision is true clarity as it should be. Uh, and it's going to just look much better. Like, let's put it this way. It's the best, it's the best 4K HDR Dolby Vision streaming device. Okay? But I understand if you don't like Apple ecosystem and you prefer Roku and Android uh, and Chrome, I understand that. It's not for everyone. But remember... No other device that's doing what the Apple here is doing. So we have to remember that. So hopefully this video gives you my final thoughts on how I feel about the Apple 4K TV. Hopefully it helps you, you know, make a decision whether you want to buy it or not. I personally think it's worth it. You know, it's the, to me personally, it's the best $200 I ever spent, you know, in my opinion, on a streaming device. There you have it, guys. That's my opinion. Remember, these are my opinions, all right? This is how I feel about it. You don't have to agree, but that's how I feel about it. There you have it.